What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, as requested by you guys, you wonderful people at home, I'm gonna be testing out Shein makeup, which I am so excited, but also a little bit nervous about. So if you guys don't know what Shein is, it's basically an online website. I know it was kind of like, it was like a Zaffle sort of situation a few years ago, but I think they've gotten like a little bit more commercial now. And basically they recently launched a whole load of makeup. So I bought it, here it is. It was all pretty affordable. Like I've got some face palettes here and I wanna say they cost me, let me like get my little order up here actually. Cost me a fiver. So the whole order without discount came to around about 75 pounds. Yeah, I did get free shipping. I paid 99p to get like tracked shipping or something. And it came in a few days, no custom charges, nothing like that. Obviously I know it kind of varies for different people, but for me, free shipping apart from the 99p charge and then no customs. And it came in like a few days. So yeah, I got a ton of stuff. I'm pretty sure it's like a full face. I got everything from false lashes. Like these look pretty intense. Yeah, I got like everything, to be honest. I got concealers, eyebrow pencils, blushes. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So it's all from the Shein brand or some things are called She Glam. I think like I'm guessing it's all part of like, the same brand, but yeah, some things are called She Glam, some things are just branded with Shein. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I'm excited, but I'm also very nervous because like I haven't heard a single thing about any of these products. So yeah, I'm curious. Let's get it on my face. I've had a lot of people asking me if I would ever bring out my own headbands and is that something you guys want? Because if it is, I can look into it. I don't know like the logistics of it or anything, but I am down. Wow, that's pretty. All right, so I've already gone ahead and moisturized my face. I don't have a primer. I think that's like the only thing I don't have. So I'm just gonna jump straight into foundation. So yeah, this is the foundation that I picked up here. It's called the Silky Matte Liquid Foundation. It says it has flawless coverage. And I got it in the shade Classic Ivory. Now, there are only a few different shades available online. Let's have a look at you. Oh, hell, what the hell? This is bougie. It comes in a little pouch. That looks nice. Nice little bit of branding there. This is nice packaging. Little like glass bottle. This is nice. This, this is all nice. Very good so far. So shake well before use. So I'm gonna give myself a little workout. One exercise a day. That's me done. Color actually looks okay. I thought it was gonna be too light for me. I'm gonna take some of that on my sponge and I'm just gonna pounce some of that on my face. Smells quite strong of alcohol. Like I'm not mad at it because I mean, <laughs> I love a drink but it does smell quite strongly of alcohol. Okay, this looks better than I thought it was gonna look. I was worried it was gonna look very, very matte, but actually it's maybe picking up on a little bit of texture around here, but that actually, that looks really good. Imagine if this makeup is great. Like imagine, it looks like it might look a bit dodgy around here, but around my cheeks and everything, it looks really good. Good coverage. It's glowy, but it's not oily looking. Like, look at that shit on my face. Okay, I'm gonna take some more. Hell, this actually looks really good. So now I have two different concealers. I have the She Glam Eye Candy Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade 204 Vanuatu. Never even seen that word in my life. I'm pretty sure I picked up two because one seemed like a slightly off color. Yeah, that one looks like it'll be a little bit too dark possibly. But again, nice packaging. Looks like a really kind of oversized Huda Beauty um, concealer. Let me see, like that's a, that's a lot of concealer there. How much do you get? Yeah, so it's definitely gonna be too dark for me. But holy crap, that looks like the most, that looks so full coverage. It almost feels like a, Bye bye under eye kind of situation, but like you can see it there. Obviously, it is too like orangey for me, but that looks really nice. Hmm. Let me know if any of you have tried that. I probably like if I get really really tan in the summer, I'll be able to use it then. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll like fake tan and try it then or something. But yeah, just from like how it looks on my hand, that does look very very full coverage. So now let's see what this guy is about. So this is the She Glam Creamy Concealer in the shade I think it was like light two. I might have made that up. Light two. Okay, fingers crossed you will fit me. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Again, a nice packaging. Let me do some little swoops under my eye there. And let's see what we got. See what you got, beach. Okay, we've got coverage. It's quite, I was gonna say it's quite brightening under my eye, but it's literally making my under eye look white. Okay, we've got some coverage up in here. <gasps> 
what if this makeup is actually sick? Like, I was going into this video, like, excited, but also kind of thinking to myself, mm, some of your makeup's probably not going to look that amazing today, Steph. But actually, so far, so good. Like, I normally find cheaper brands, they kind of struggle in the whole, like, foundation, concealer, powder department. I find that, like, I don't know, I feel like base makeup is such a specialised thing. But so far, we're looking pretty good. Like, we've definitely got a lot of coverage up in here. I'm just going to go over this spot. I'm just going to go down here as well. And also in the corner of my nose, just a touch. Get that hair off my face, if I can. Oh my god, now I'm just like spreading my makeup everywhere. Anyone else with cats or just animals in general, you will know the struggle of doing your makeup and then just finding a casual pet hair just stuck to your face. This base makeup actually looks pretty good. Like, I'm really not hating on this at all. Concealer looks good on my nose. It's very creamy, it's quite thick, but it blends out really easily and doesn't really feel like much on your skin. That is, like, that's some serious coverage. Look at my poor crispy eyebrows. Guys, don't laminate your own eyebrows at home. They might fall out like mine did. Yeah, I'm really into that concealer. I feel like I'd be really into this concealer as well. I'm gonna keep an eye out on the website to see if my actual shade does come back in stock, but this looks really intense. Like, I'll show you guys one more time. Like, it's blended out on the skin really nicely as well. But like, yeah, it's, super, super full coverage, but also seems quite hydrating. I know you can't really see too much here, but like, maybe if I show you there, it's like, it's full coverage, but it also looks pretty skin-like. Ooh. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring using the Color and Sculpt Stick. It says, create a small V face. I thought that said a V small face, and I was like, okay, very small face. Ollie, please edit me with a small face, right? Now. this will make me look like that. Okay, so it's like a jewel-ended sort of stick. We've got a nice warm brown shade on this side and then a shimmery shade on this side. Let me see what you can do, my friend. Oh, pretty, very pretty. Okay, right, I'm gonna do a little bit of sculpting with this side here. Just needs to warm it up, I think. There we go, just took a second there. Color looks pretty good. I'm going to... Just kind of leave it at that, to be honest. And just blend the rest of that out, just with a couple of little stippling motions. And then just blend that up into my hair. Okay, this blends out pretty easy. Very easy, actually. That's done a decent job. It has just kind of warmed me up a little bit, sculpted out my face. So again, this side here, yeah, it's all warmed up now, so we're all good to go. I like that it's got a little slant as well. It's very easy to apply around your face. So we'll just do, just like that. And then again, just pounce that in. You know what, so far this is almost going too well. Right, I'm gonna try out this cream highlighter. I'm gonna apply it with my fingers, I think, just cause I don't want to pick up my foundation. I mean, it's quite tricky to see cause obviously the rest of my face is shiny at the moment, but I feel like there's a little bit of something going on there. Yeah, I mean, like, I can kind of take it or leave it with that end. The contouring side is what I originally bought it for, and yeah, I think it worked really, really well. How have I already messed up the packaging that much? All right, so now I'll move on to powder, or at least this is what I think is powder. It says, pearl white makeup powder. Loose powder designed to give skin a naturally flawless finish. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was, like, shimmery or not. Um, okay, just looks like this. I'm still a little bit nervous that it is going to be shimmery. Nice little puff, very soft. Oh, what is, this is weird. Why has it got like a little fingerprint thing here? Like, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? It's got like a little, little fingerprint. I don't know what that's for. I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Aha. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh, it's one of those. This packaging is really nice. Hello there. Just show you there. So it's got like one of these little um, like mesh sifters. So let's see what you got. This is the bit that scares me because this is the bit where things could go horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, I feel like it's more cakey than I would like, but it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Does that make sense? Like I'm not loving it just from the first application. I don't think it's gonna be like my fave, but I also feel like we've had a lot worse. 
So I'm just going to dust down the rest of my face. I mean, it does seem really, really finely milled. It just looks like, yeah, I'm just not loving how it looks under my eyes. It's not too bad, too bad, but it's not my fave. Let's do like the last test where I'm putting on the rest of my face. Yeah, just as I kind of thought, the foundation slash concealer slash powder has kind of picked up a little bit around my mouth, a little bit around here. Basically just where I have like movement where there are creases and stuff. I don't think I like it as an under eye setting powder, but everywhere else actually looks okay. I'm getting really excited about this because I'm like, oh my God, cheap makeup. I love cheap makeup. Okay, so now I've got two of these face palettes. They're both called the Stereo Face Six Color Cosmetic Disc. Easy to have three dimensional contours. One's a contouring palette, one's a highlighting palette. Okay, so this is what cost me a fiver. Let's see what a five pound gets you on Shein. Oh, okay, it gets you a very decently sized contour palette. Hello. Smells a little bit kind of like, like new leather shoes. And I actually kind of like it, but I'm not sure if makeup should smell like that, but I'm also kind of low key enjoying it. All right, so first of all, let's do a little rundown. So we've got two highlighting powders that are matte. This looks like a somewhat shimmery powder, maybe. Um, I mean, barely, it's like a very, very kind of subtle shimmer. And then we have three matte bronzers. I think I'm going to take this one here for contouring. It's called Noble Taint. And I'm gonna try and sculpt out some cheekbones with this. Seems quite pigmented because I only literally had the tiniest amount on my brush. That looks pretty good to me. It is a little bit darker than what I wanted, but that's fine. Let me try this side. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. Doesn't seem to look patchy or anything like that. I'm just gonna blend that in up around my hairline and basically go everywhere that I put the cream contour. Dust a little bit under my nose. It's not amazing, but it's doing everything I kind of want it to do. So now I have the choice between these two very kind of warm looking bronzers. I think I'm gonna go for this one here called Tanned Goddess, cause that's what I would like to resemble after all this is over. So I'm gonna take my backstaged angle powder brush and I'm just gonna pick up some of that. So it does pick up quite a lot, but I am gonna dust the excess off and then I'll run that kind of more so on the top of my cheeks. That's not a bad contour kit. For a fiver, you get massive pans. Like, okay, it does smell a little bit like leather shoes, but if you're fine with that, then that's cool. Some people might prefer a palette to smell like leather shoes. But yeah, good size pans, pigmented, not too pigmented, a little bit dusty, not too dusty. I think that's really good for a fiver. Okay, so then I have the She Glam Blush and Highlight Eye Candy Brightening Blush Powder in the shade Amore. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a little touch of that, not too much. <laughs> wow, that's very, very pigmented. And I'm gonna pop that on my cheeks. That is actually really pigmented because I took the tiniest amount there, but looks quite nice. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to highlighter. So like I said, I have this palette here, which I just opened up and... <sighs> mm hmm This makes me very excited. Let's try out Majesty. Okay, it feels a little bit dry, but it also looks very, very pretty. Let's do a couple of swatches here. Bada bing, bada boom, hello. Okay, so they look interesting. <laughs> we also have the Shein Face Shimmering Powder in the shade Moonlight. So that looks like that. A little bit darker than what I thought, but... Okay, this looks really nice. That's definitely a lot more intense than the other ones in the palette. And then I also have the Face Palette Powder Chrome Highlighter in the shade Lightning Dust. Pretty sure this is one of the ones, again, that was sold out in like most of the colors. But that looks really nice. More subtle than the other one, so this one looks like it's gonna be the winner for me. Again, guys, I've gotta say, this is all very nice packaging considering the price. So I'm gonna swell my brush in there. There is a lot of kickback, but I don't mind that with highlighter because usually it means it's gonna be popping. Let's see what a Shein highlighter can do. And apparently it can do a lot. Okay, that looks very nice. On the skin, like close up and everything, it looks good as well. Yeah. Wow, that looks really good. I'm waiting for the duds. Like I'm waiting for the thing that's like really bad. 
Because, like, surely all of this can't just be, like, great. Because so far it's all pretty great. Now I'm going to take this shade here called Majesty in the highlighting palette. And I'll apply that just there. That's also really pretty. Quite nice and smooth on the skin as well. Yeah, this one here is definitely more, like, foily. Okay, so now I'm going to try out the um, Lightning Dust Chrome Highlighter. I'm going to pop that just up here. That's a little bit more tricky to see when it's not on my cheekbone. But that looks good as well. These all look good. They're like slight variations of each other. Obviously, like some are different colors. But yeah, they all seem to go on the skin like quite similarly. They all seem to like sit on the skin quite nicely. This one I have to say is my favorite because it is like a lot more kind of metallic-y. I'm gonna do a little bit of this shade here, Golden Dime, on my nose. That looks really, really pretty on my skin. Oh my God, I'm liking everything. So now I've got two different brow products. I have a waterproof eyebrow pencil. It says natural and soft, and I got it in dark brown. And then I also have in light brown. I think I got light brown because I didn't have dark brown, but I got the tinted brow gel brow definer. Okay, so let's have a look at this brow pencil. Ooh, it's got like these bubbly things on it again. Pretty sure one of my Revolution products had something like this before. I'll just show you. Can you see that there? It's got like little weird white bubbly bits. I mean, I'd rather it didn't have that on there, but I don't think it affects the product too much. I think it's just kind of like bubbles, you know? I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna fill in a few hairs around here. Seriously, please ignore my frazzled eyebrows. They're getting there slowly, but yeah, seriously, just note to self, don't laminate your own eyebrows. I pro I'll probably do it again, and I'll probably do the exact same thing, but yeah, um, don't do it unless you wanna lose half your eyebrow. Little bit warmer than what I would have liked, but that's cool. We can make it work. I mean, it seems all right. It's a pretty bog standard brow pencil. Bit too warm for me, but again, like we made it work. So yeah, now I've got the tinted brow gel brow definer in light brown. So I'm hoping this won't look like too light brown because then I'm just gonna look a bit mental. Okay, so let's look at this guy here. Okay, no, the color actually looks decent. The color actually looks better than the dark brown. Okay, that's a bent little one there. Uh, I'm gonna take off the excess. What the hell is this brush? <laughs> it's literally like a broom. Like I don't wanna judge it too much, but well, that's a weird little brow gel thing. So I'm gonna try and just brush that through my brows without getting too much everywhere. Although actually, these oddly long bristles are really kind of getting to the base of my brow hairs here. Wait, this actually might be onto something because this is fully like, almost like digging into my um, brows. Not in like a painful way, that sounded bad. But like because it's got such long bristles, it's like really getting to the root of my brow hairs and filling it in without just looking like it's just sitting on top of my brows. I mean, considering my brows aren't their best at the moment, looking all frazzly and stuff, I feel like they actually look pretty decent. Yeah, I like the brow gel. The brow pencil's all right. It's fine, I wouldn't like rush out to buy it. But if you're ordering something, and if you do need a new brow pencil, and if they do have your color, it's good. It's good. I guess now I'm gonna go onto my lips before I do my eyes so I can just kind of like figure out what sort of look I wanna do. So I picked up two different lip products. What have I got here? I've got the Eye Candy Double Touch Matte Lip Gloss, so a matte liquid lipstick. And this one here is in the shade Curiosity. So this is what I feel think I'm probably gonna wear because it's a nude. Shock horror. Okay, that is very nude. That's like the color of my hair. I forgot it was like this. It's like a, you can make it glossy with like the little top coat thing or you can just use it as a liquid lipstick and have it as like a matte color. Let me see. That is very gray. I might just get a little bit of that brow pencil again and like line my lips with it in a second and then fill my lips in with that color because I really like that color but I think all over, I might look like I'm dying. So then the other option that I have is just called the Fearless Kiss Matte Lipstick. It says a light matte, light and soft fog text, what? Light matte, light and soft fog texture. So, I mean, I gotta say, I don't really know the texture of fog. It's like the last time it was foggy here, I didn't really go outside and go, that would make like a perfect texture for a lipstick, but okay. And the color that I got this in is Poison Ivy. I got this because honestly, I was just really, really curious. Okay, I'm really actually kind of into these products. Like this is not my usual kind of packaging, but can we please appreciate the fact that this cost me a couple quid and, <gasps> oh yes. <gasps> oh, wow. This, I love this. I don't know why I love green lipstick so much, but let me just do a swatch here. 
Oh, shit. Oh, my God, that looks... That looks so good. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Pretty. Okay, I'm just putting this on really roughly. This is a cool color. I've applied it really badly, but that is a nice lipstick. That's a sick color. Nice packaging. I'm probably gonna get more of these because these actually seem really, really nice. They're fully matte. They feel really comfortable. They don't feel drying at all. It's not like, um, whatever you call it, kiss proof or anything. But yeah, I'm really into it. Really into that. But now I'm gonna take it off. So now I'm just gonna very quickly fill in my lips with my brow pencil. Just line the outside there. Okay, so just kind of leave it like that, just very messy. And now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. So just pop that right in the middle there. Yeah, that would be like so ghostly if I did that all over my lips. Mm -mm. And then I'm probably gonna go back in with the brow pencil again. So I'm gonna tap that in. And then just go back over with my brow pencil, just so it's all kind of like blended. And then just sort all that out there. And then take a tiny little bit more. Yeah, I really wouldn't put this all over your lips, unless that's the kind of look you're going for. I would definitely just kind of focus this mostly on like the center of your lips. Okay, the liquid lipstick on its own, without this top coat stuff, which maybe I'll try a little bit of it, is very, very drying. Like, just a heads up. I'm sure if I can do something with this. I mean, this is basically just a standard clear gloss. It's quite sheer as well, like, especially when you do add the gloss, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'll just stick to it being just matte and crusty. That's probably one of the first products that I haven't loved. I actually really do kind of like the color. You guys know I'm into like very kind of foundation lips. Let's just be honest here. Although you know what? Just from putting that gloss on and then blotting it down and then putting this on top actually feels a lot better. I don't know, we'll see how this wears after a little while. Cause right now I don't know. I don't know. So now I'll move on to eyes. So I have this palette here. So this is called the She Glam Artistry Palette. I actually forgot what it looks like. Oh, okay, that's what it looks like. Whoa, okay, some of these colors are calling my name. <gasps> There's like glitters as well. Okay, I am so ready to swatch the crap out of these. Okay, so we've got a yellow. Let's do five swatches. Looks chalky, but also looks pigmented. Let's try this pink glitter. Looks good. We have this shimmery purple, which looks really nice actually. And then, oh, go on then, go on then. I'll swatch just a blue, all right, you pulled my leg. Mmm, these look so nice. Okay, I'm gonna pop that there. That looks really good. This glitter, which obviously is gonna apply a little bit differently, but that looks okay. This yellow, which does look very chalky. We've got some pigment there, and then we have this blue. Oh my God, that looks great. Shall I just do a blue? Shall I do it? Might just do a blue. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure my lid's blended out and everything. And I'm just gonna go smack bang in with that lime green. I'm just gonna pack that on my crease. And just stamp it along there. This palette's also giving off a slight leather shoe kind of smell, but again, kind of dig it. Okay, so I'm just tapping this green in at the moment. Don't want to over blend or anything, I'm just tapping. And then I'm gonna take this shade here. They don't have names or anything, but it's like the matte kind of cream shade. And I'm just going to lightly dust that over the green just to help blend up to my brow bone, just so I'm not blending it too much. So far, so good. Got a nice little blend going on there, fabulous. So now I'm gonna go straight in with the blue, just going straight in with a fluffy brush. And I'm just like picking up all the shimmer there, I'm gonna dust off the excess. And I'm just gonna slap bang that right on my lid. Ooh, baby. I'm gonna try my finger actually. Yeah, it works really well with your finger. I don't normally like to use my finger that much, but when it makes this much of a difference, like I'll I'll do it. Oh my God, imagine if I did that green lipstick now. So I'm gonna take the brush that I had that green shade on again. I'm using very weird brushes right now. It's cause most of them are in the wash or being washed and drying, you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm just going to blend out the edges of that blue. This is actually blending out really quite nicely considering I just slapped it on there. I might even take, do I want to take this green shade? It's like a khaki green. It's kind of greeny gold actually. I think I'm actually going to take that right to the outer corner with Will. 
just kind of like that. And then once again, just blend out any little extra bits here. I might even flick out that green just a touch. Now I'm gonna take my fave little highlighter. So I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush and smack that. Oh, another cat hair, great. Slap that right on in the inner corner and blend it upwards a bit into the blue. That is such an intense highlight, I love it. And then also I'm gonna go on my brow bone just there as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then do I do a blue on my lower lash line? Do I do a brown? Blue, brown, blue, brown. I'm gonna do a brown. So I'm gonna take this shade here. It's quite a dark kind of coffee brown. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of tap that on my lower lash line first. And then once I've got all the pigment off on my brush, I'm just gonna Blend that. These shadows are pigmented. I'm having no issues with these at all. They do have some fallout, they do have some kickback, but this palette was so cheap again. I think it was like a fiver or something. But it really is just kind of, really is just kind of doing bits there. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. I'm gonna tidy everything up in a second, but yeah, that actually seems pretty good. The way it's all kind of like laid out reminds me a lot of like Huda Beauty palettes. I don't think I've seen a palette from Huda that looks like this, but um, yeah. I really rate it. Really into that. Oh my God, that's, that literally smells like a bonfire. I probably shouldn't be putting this on my face. Gunny anyway, but yeah. So now I have the Dazzling Star Eyeliner. It says the diamonds glitter and are loved. Same. Wait, is this, is this a black line or is this like what? Okay, it's very gold and glittery looking, but again, nice packaging. I saw this and I was like, wait, what? I don't remember buying that. Okay, this looks very black. It does seem to be bleeding quite a lot, but obviously it is, you know, on my arm. But that is super black. So I'm not gonna do anything too major. I'm just gonna do a line across my lashes. And then just slightly lift it up at the end. You do have to be very, okay, you do have to be very kind of careful with this because it does seem to bleed quite a lot. I really don't like myself with wing liner. I don't know why. Get that applied quite easy. Okay, so that's that there. That was easy enough to apply. I'm not sure how it's gonna last because it does look like it'll be a little bit bleedy. So I kind of have to like wait a few minutes to see, but it's black, it's matte. It was easy to apply. Not bad so far. Next up we have a mascara. So this is just called the Perfect Curling Mascara in Classic Black. Again, pretty decent packaging. So let's have a look at this wand. Okay, so it's a bristle wand. It's just kind of like little, little cone kind of shape. So let's just go straight in with this. Okay, it's taking a couple of seconds to like pick up my lashes. Okay, so it's not doing anything too crazy at the moment. Let me take another coat. Maybe it needs another little something something. Okay, we've got something going on here. It's like picked up all of my lashes now that they're coated. I mean, it's not doing anything bad. It's taking me like a few seconds longer than what it would normally take for me to apply mascara, but that's not an issue. Do my lower lashes. It's very separating. It's actually quite good once you've got like a little bit of grip on your lashes. Yeah, I think that's all right, you know. I really have nothing bad to say about this. So now last but not least, I have some false lashes. So these are the beautiful eyelash, new eyelash here that says volume and curl. These look intense. They looked a lot smaller on the website. Yeah, these are pretty big. Like I normally like something a lot more kind of natural, but okay. The band's pretty thick. Like the band is thicker than what I would normally like, but there is a lot of hair like on these actual lashes. So I think I'm just gonna create little corner lashes and probably like snip off half of them, to be honest. They are like pretty good quality, not the best. They're not like Huda Beauty lashes or anything, but yeah, these feel quite nice. They've got layers to them. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna give those a little snip pop them on my eyeballs and then I'll do the other eye and all that jazz and then I'll check back with you guys my final thoughts. But um, <gasps> I'm actually kind of shook, not gonna lie. All right guys, so this is the finished look. Turns out that she in makeup is actually pretty lit. Like I really don't have much bad to say about this makeup look at all, really. Like a little bit, the tiniest little bit, same as before, but a little bit dry on my under eyes from the powder and the concealer. The foundation has picked up a tiny little bit of the texture around my chin, around my mouth. Otherwise though, I'm actually buzzing with how it turned out. Like I was not expecting to like pretty much everything from Shein. I was expecting to like a few things, maybe like a highlighter, maybe the eyeshadows would have been good, maybe the lip products, but not everything. Like literally pretty much everything 
was really good. So it is currently three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm probably not gonna wear this for the longest amount of time, but I will still keep it on for a little while. So yeah, this is what everything is looking like right now. I will check back with you guys in a few hours and we'll see how it wears. All right guys, so it has now gone, just gone half 10 in the evening. So I've had this on for what, like seven, seven-ish hours. Overall, it's, I mean, it's not looking too much different to be honest. A little bit has kind of like worn off around my nose, I guess where I've just been like, rub my nose or whatever throughout the day, doing what I do. The lipstick is kind of still there. Like I can actually still feel it a little bit even though I have eaten a few times throughout the day. Brows are looking mad right now. Like, they don't really look too much different to you guys, but there's there's a lot of like frazzly texture going on right now. But again, that's from me laminating my own eyebrows. Don't do it. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, it all actually looks pretty good. A little bit of creasing, the standard like, a little bit more eyeshadow fallout. But other than that, nothing to really report back on. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Shein makeup in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've tried anything out or if there's anything else I need to pick up. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, let me know if there's any other brands you guys want me to try it because I can definitely get around to doing that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.